Good morning, everybody. I know why you're here. You're here to see the arrow. Today, we launch a historic design in a historic project. In January of this year, in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show to an international audience. APMA, myself and my two colleagues, our CTO, Colin Dillon, and our SVP of Innovation, Warren Ali, launched Project Arrow. We are gonna build a zero emissions concept car. All Canadian design, all Canadian engineering, all Canadian components and supply. Colin, who is our CTO is also the only Canadian judge at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. And he led a design team this year that came up with what you're about to see. Warren, Warren is gonna be the guy that you talk to if you wanna be part of this exciting project as we build out Canada's car, Project Arrow. Colin. Thank you, Flavio. So a design competition which challenged Canadian design schools from British Columbia all the way across to the east to answer the design brief that we had developed. It developed 25 applicants that were narrowed down to nine, and then from the nine, the three finalists. And it wasn't an easy um, you know, task for the judging panel uh, with esteemed designers on that panel to actually narrow down to choose the final design. But hey, I'm super excited and I'm pretty stoked. So you know, this isn't about seeing my ugly muck, it's probably more about seeing what this final design is. And let me give you, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you Project Arrow. It's a vehicle that meets the design brief to a T. We wanted to have a vehicle that was going to be larger than a CUV and potentially an SUV. We wanted it to be a vehicle that would take on the Canadian terrain, whether you were in, in the metropolis of a, of a Toronto or a Vancouver, or whether you're out in the rural portions of Canada, you know, this vehicle had to be all of those signatory kind of, you know, um, uh, aspects and environments. But right off the bat, you should be drawn to those lights. Every vehicle typically has its signature standards and marks and, and our light design by the by the group of students from Carlton University by the way Ottawa who were the finalists uh, you had Kai you had Mina you had Matthew and you had John Son they gave us a vehicle which stands in the full presence of what it means to be a Canadian vehicle that the wide wheel um, you know uh, spacing from from front to rear the 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 cuts and the lines and the, and the carving and the chiseling that you probably are admiring at the front of the vehicle and at the side of the vehicle. You know, this is rock formation. This is Canadian rock formation that's been translated into sheet metal on this vehicle and, and a huge panoramic glass, um, you know, uh, roof line slash, you know, side windows to make sure you appreciate and you're, you're able to take in all of what Canada has to offer um, through our beautiful geographic nation. But, you know, sometimes you have to look at a vehicle from multiple angles. You may not be able to appreciate it from just one particular angle. Well, you know, the traction, is, as the students from Carlton University called it, gives you a vehicle which, which carries itself, you know. But again, you know, I'd like to make sure you're looking at those those cut lines on the front and on the rear, just below their, their light belts. You know, those are all, you know, aspects and influences from, from Canadian, you know, um, you know, you know, rocks and, and stone, you know, it's, it's body panel from the, from the sides and the way they bleed down from the, from the, from the suicide door handles, a very gentle and, you know, and just kind of, you know, specific, about the, the the look and feel it's it came together it was 24 weeks of hard work from from all the groups um, and, and to be honest we couldn't be happier with with what we saw and the next challenge will be the development and the manufacturing of this vehicle to make sure that we're able to to look at the engineering and these the the safety requirements to try and make sure we keep as much glass as the students are shown here as an interior shot 
to make sure we're, we're still allowing the full accessibility and the sustainability of the materials and the design that were used. It's a proud moment for the APMA, APMA and it's a proud moment for Canada. Thank you, Colin. And, and just a reminder to everybody who's watching here, you can click on any of the links here on this page to take a look at all the different shots and a, and a few more of the turntables. Uh, a, a special congratulations to the team from uh, Carleton University, but also really, really good work we got from our other two finalists from Humber College in Toronto and from the Wilson School of Design in Richmond. Three vehicles that the judging panel all thought would have been very exciting to build out. And uh, we're gonna do that in a virtual sense. And this one here is the one that has been chosen to go forward. But I think that that process showed to us just how mature and creative Canada's design schools and design students are. And um, we're gonna chronicle all that for everybody to see uh, at a later date as part of this project. Now I'm gonna turn to Warren Ali, who's been working on the other part of this exciting announcement today. Now you see the arrow, but we picked partners to make sure that you can touch and feel it. And for all those other designs, we've got another surprise. Warren. Hi everybody. Once again, wanna congratulate the team from Carleton University. And we also wanna be able to take this opportunity to announce some of our partners. So we're lucky to be able to partner with Ontario Tech University who will be acting as the quasi OEM for this um, project, and along with their industrial partners and their engineering team, they'll be able to add all the form and features that will be able to bring this vehicle to life. But in addition to that, we're thankful to have the Weed C VR cave at IBLS down in Windsor, who in partnership with the actual three design finalists will be able to build these virtual vehicles. So when we're all fortunately or unfortunately enough sitting at home in our at our homes in uh, January, you'll all be able to still be able to get inside of these vehicles and experience them both from the interior and the exterior. We'll be announcing some more pro product partners, production partners over the, the coming months, but um, right now we're fortunate to have these groups already. Warren and Colin, thank you for that. And what I think what's important for everybody to see here is there's a lot of parts in this. We're at the center of this, we're coordinating it but this isn't possible without those partnerships. You'll see in some of the attached materials, a representative video of one of our major supplier partners. We have the support of the largest um, Canadian-based automotive suppliers and technology providers in this country. We're gonna do this together. It's a Team Canada effort. And central to that Team Canada effort has been the support, the ongoing support of the province of Ontario through the AVEN network and the Ontario Centers of Excellence You'll hear from Minister Fideli in, uh, in one of the clips here attached. Um, but, you know, it's been a long partnership, both the APMA and the OCE with the province and specifically on this project to get us to where we are, wouldn't have been able to do it without them. From the federal side, you know, the, the, the federal government has been very, very uh, effective in helping us get Canadian technology in our demonstration fleet, our connected Lexus, our first version of this project from 2014 has gone around the world, virtually and physically, from technology tours in Palo Alto to virtual tours in uh, Austria and the UK. The federal government and the Trade Commissioner Service has been our partners. The uh, ICED Canada, the industry ministry, has been at the center of it. And we announced this week, together, both the feds and the province on a very, very exciting announcement at Ford to make electric vehicles in uh, Oakville. Uh, with support uh, in Windsor. And we couldn't have done this without uh, Minister Nap D. Baines, uh, very inspirational in this. The Prime Minister made a call to action. We answered it. The, the Premier of the province, Ontario, said, show me that you can build it. Premier Ford, we're going to show you. Gentlemen, thank you this morning to our viewers. Anybody that wants to get involved in the project, if you're a company that wants to be on this vehicle, you're gonna to talk to Warren. If you're a company who can help us, a group that can help us in the next phase, engineering of this vehicle, talk to Colin. You're always all welcome to talk to me and I'm sure I'll be talking to a lot of you today about what this means for the Canadian automotive sector. Thank you. I